Shalom. Coming back to y'all with this part three. Uh, something going on with my phone. Wouldn't hold the videos for long periods of time, but I don't like doing long recordings anyway. So, uh, like I was saying, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on these, uh, you know, people of this world. Just touch down, touch base on, you know, the attributes of uh, Edomites with their heart. And then the northern kingdom, you know, those in this world uh, get wrapped up in the, the color of their flesh, you know. As the scripture de details, the northern tribe, you know what I'm saying, being a cake unturned, you know, you got Hispanics and Puerto Ricans and other uh, lighter tribe uh, members, the tribe of Gad, uh, the Native Indians, Ephraim being the Puerto Ricans, it's the copy and the Mexicans. Um, in this world, a lot of them, not not too much the Puerto Ricans, because Puerto Ricans care they stuff like they black, like they Judah, you know, they 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 truly the kings of uh the northern tribe, you know, they they Negroes, <laughs> but uh that that flesh don't get a lot of people caught up in this world when they come to find out who they are and understand that uh they they forsaken the beauty of the original tribes being of all dark, melanated people, you know, those with the light of flesh are going to have a hard time coming out of this world if that's what they've been striving for, to be accepted by Esau, Edom, and this world, you know, now going into Judah, the tribe of Judah, our people, the issues we got is we've been oppressed so long and we had so many false, uh, uh, opportunities or, or visions, you know, with the civil rights movement and all this other stuff. And we always tried to be accepted ourselves, you know. And uh, then this new thing with the entertainment and the uh, sports and, uh, you know, f newfound wealth. We cleave into this world. And we don't care about being in this world being black because we feel like we got a special gift now, you know. But when you come to find out and wake up that you Israel, all that ain't gonna matter, that materialistic stuff, that worldly stuff, you know? And then we got the people that's striving to be like them, the entertainers, the stars of this world, you know? Buying $300 Gucci belts, you know what I'm saying? Still living with your mama, you know? We got issues, and they worldly issues, you know what I'm saying? We, our, our women, you know, uh, disrespectful, you know, and the men on, on, equally, you know, toward the women. This is all of the curses for all, all uh, the, the tribes of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Deuteronomy details those curses of how the man and woman would treat each other. You know, the women cleaving to, uh, you know, support of the government with welfare, what have you, you know, su su support because the man ain't there. And then when they, uh, you know, even with the men that do try, they, they want to go against them, compete with him, you know. And, you know, the man... Uh, mongering, all, all this stuff, you know, these, these these things that we got as hurdles keeping us down. Not knowing what Esau got to deal with, you know, as far as his heart and everything, he, he there, there's no change in him, you know what I'm saying, for, the, for them as a nation. You know, those with the good hearts and everything being uh, uh, looking like they're going to be the selected of those being uh, given salvation for their heart excluding them from what I'm speaking on about Esau Eden, but that's something that they are of, you know. We are conditioned and programmed. It's just like uh, uh, David Banner said, I think it was David Banner, you know, if you got a computer, they got a virus. Do you blame the computer or do you blame, blame the person who downloaded or, or the computer program? We've been programmed, you know, yeah, we can bring Esau, but we got to take some accountability, you know, start coming out of this world. And like I say, coming out of this world doesn't have to do with boarding up your windows, uh, stop going to the movies and stuff, enjoying entertainment. Come out of this world means keep the Sabbaths, keep the holy days, practice the uh, commandments that were given to us as a people. Stay away from these churches. Stay away from uh, heathenish acts that I'm speaking on that us as Judites 
Estacar, uh, Ephraim, all of us do in the ghettos, becoming like the heathen. That's where we're going off. We got to come out of this world. The programming, you know, this is what we need as fundamentals to practice to get right. This ain't for everybody. So if you new to this understanding that this is not a religion, this is a birthright. If you've seen some of the other material that I presented, I'm going to share with you some um, videos that you need to see to get more information on this. But going back to my people, Judah, you know, the youngsters out here, you know, you know, popping pills and everything. Back in the day, the, nobody was glorifying being a dope fiend. Nobody wanted to be around dope fiends. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 I, I, didn't, I hung out with brothers that smoked weed, you know, <laughs> and it was called dank. You know what I'm saying? The chronic, you know, in East Oakland, California. I'm from Chicago, but East Oakland is my, my second home. But we didn't, you know, we drank liquor, you know, uh, beer, crazy horse, you know, old English, you know. Yeah, that's that was the government's uh, uh, level of poison us. Now the entertainment then took it to a new level where it's cool to be popping pills and uh, X, they got rat poisoning and all this other stuff. You know, I mean, like, who glorifies that, man? I'm like, you know. Keep that, you, you, no, man, but yeah, we didn't took heathen to another level, Judah, just disrespectful to ourselves, and, and, and all in the name of fame, chasing that dollar, you know, chasing that God, of, that God dollar, come on, man, this is, this is ridiculous, but no shame, if you all could just pay attention and see that the entertainment that we've been uh, bombarded with, the Jewish people, the fake Jews that came and bought up our music industry. We had, we had, yeah, we had street stuff like uh, N.W.A., but we had X Clan, we had Cas One, we had uh, Tribe Called Quest. People that were trying to uplift you. They seen that this mu music had a message. They came in and bought out the industry, they, and then they owned all the labels. They putting in who they want to put in. You know what I'm saying? They, you wouldn't get no contracts. Unless you, uh, unless you were selling your soul, you know, N.W.A., check this out. If you ever watch this movie, pay attention. Jerry Huller was a Jew. Came in and gave these boys contracts, gave them money, put them on and everything. When the beef started really rolling with Suge and everything, he knew Suge was a hitter. Because Easy was like, man, I'm about to squeeze this dude. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he mashed up on me, man. I'm, I'm street too. We going to do this. Jerry was like, look, man, you know, let's don't do this. You know, we, you, you're not a killer. You know, come on, we making money and everything. You know what I'm saying? Easy was like on the street level, though. He ain't trying to hit at Still going to push, I'm going to push back. That's what he was on. Well, when Jerry started getting threats, Jerry Heller contacted the, uh, the, uh, basically the Jewish mob. Check the movie out. Check the movie out. And he had pr protection. These are ex- commandos in the uh, Israeli army that was protecting him from the streets, the street cats. That's telling you the influence that these Jewish people really do have. They're going to protect what they're doing, poisoning us to no end. We can't go to war with them, no how. I'm, I'm talking about in this world, Esau. The vengeance is the Lord's. But, you know, taking it out of that understanding, you know what I'm saying, battling and everything, you got to understand, they got a system set up to poison us medically, consumption-wise, food, what we take into our mind, entertainment, from how we live, how we survive, how we pay our bills. They put you in clutches. As long as you make that dollar your God, you, you, you're you subdued to them. Now, this ain't to say that... You know, stop, like I say, board up your windows or nothing like that. You got to pay your bills and everything, but don't make that God your dollar. Don't sell your soul for that dollar. Don't stop short. Get what's due you, what's earned, what you earned. Go collect that. Don't try to get anything more by selling yourself short. That's when they got you. Excuse me. I'm always hiccuping because I just ate every time I'm making these videos. But anyway... They 
know how this world is ran, and that's Judah's weakness. That's this world's weakness, but Judah primarily, you know what I'm saying? They got to keep us. Judah is the, the head of the southern tribe. Ephraim is the head of the northern tribe. They got to keep the heads pacified with uh, compensation, you know what I'm saying? Pacification, money, you know, because that keeps your spirit lost in this world, chasing idolatry. And, uh, you know, it ain't, like I said, ain't nothing wrong with having nice things. You ain't supposed to make them your God. I got nice stuff, you know. Uh, you're supposed to have a nice car, nice home, nice clothes, nice surroundings. Don't make it your God. Don't ever be able, be not willing to part with that stuff. One of my favorite movies from this world is called, uh, uh, what is it, Heat with Al Pacino. Well, he got a statement in there and there's some truth to that, you know. I carried my understanding in this world when I was in the world with that same understanding, but you got to apply it now spiritually. Don't get attached to nothing that you ain't willing to part with in four seconds or something like that, four or five seconds at the, at the drop when the heat is on, you know? And that's what it is when the heat is on for your soul in this world, when you come out of this world and let them know they ain't got you. This goes for our women too. You know, don't cleave to that... Uh, that government assistance, find a way out of it. You know what I'm saying? When you come back to the most high, practice these commandments, keep his Sabbaths, he moves this world out of your way. That's your way out. For all of you, it's the car, gad, them casinos ain't working. Not for your people as a nation. You, you, you are not prospering as a nation. We cannot prosper as a nation without our God. Unless you make that dollar bill your new God, which Oprah Winfrey, entertainers, Michael Jordan, etc. I keep using them because, you know, Chicago celebrities. But they ain't coming back. They ain't coming back to uh, the most high. They they live in their life. They, they, this this is their world. This is as good as it gets. That's written. They sold, they sold. As much as I, you know, uh, in this world was proud of them. As black people making it successful. Then when you look at it and see what's in these scriptures and understand that that was all a trap, they're used as influence to keep us all on that, you know, chasing that lost path. That's where we at. So, like I say, it's the car. Gotta, you got to come together, man. You know, don't get caught up in the flesh. Don't let that uh, pigmentation uh, throw you off to thinking you included with Esau in this world because you're going to. Go with them. That's the thing about your your uh your condition. It's gonna be a curse in the when, in the in the end times. Judah, don't let this world take you with idolatry. Esau eat them. Like I said. You're a special breed, man. You know, I'm I'm just going into thinking about, you know. The, uh, the days of employment, dealing with them uh, and seeing their attributes, you know, in the streets, you know, and, and it, I've never got caught doing the crimes that uh, may be notorious. Let me just say that. I've always got jammed up by police just minding my business, you know, it could have been People say it could could have been karma or whatever. I mean, it, they they were just doing extra stuff. It wasn't no uh, it wasn't even no crime committed when I was getting harassed. You know, I was really minding my business, <laughs> and uh, you know, I had one cop pull me over. I was in my suburban. I never ride deep in my vehicles. I never like drawing attention. You know, plus I had carried weapons and such a lot of times in that world. But this particular time, we going hanging out and uh, had three pa 